welcome back guys to another episode of City Skyline Sunset Harbor here on the Xbox One console system. We're here landing in Fox Valley's cargo hub right here and we just had a nice safe landing here at Fox Valley and now we're going to zoom back out. Now for today, I want to do something very simple. I want to build a university over here. So what you're going to need first of all is the City Skyline's campus dlc so please make sure you have that so first of all you before you want to start you want to see how many college eligible students do you have so you're going to go hold down y and go to info view and go down to the university now right now i literally have i'm going to pause it i literally have 11,951 eligible students and i have zero capacity what i did was i deleted all those smaller campuses so we could have everybody coming to one campus and weirdly enough i just did it so i actually have thirty-five thousand students that have graduated but i've deleted all the college campuses so for today we are going to build a college campus over here on this plot of land so the very first step what you're going to do is we're going to click on the, the campus and then we're going to paint the area. So just like building an industry, we, we are going to do the same thing with the campus. So this whole area is going to be the campus. Now, just to let you guys know, the campus is very massive. Um, in general, um, the campuses are, no matter which one you build, they're very big. So make sure you give it enough room. So in the comment section below, please let me know what what I should name our college campus. I am going to go with the university right now, but now the, I am going to go with the university. So please let me know what I should name the university. Now to begin, I do need to build a lovely admin building. So I'm going to actually grab a road with buses and go up here about about here so i don't have an exact dis distance but about 1500 then i'm gonna build a one-way road little roundabout for our let me do that for our little 350 i want to do 350 now i'm gonna go a little bit more 250 all right and then i'm gonna create a cr I, i'm actually gonna do this it's gonna be a little bit easier because it'll It'll help me figure out what I want to do. So I do want to kind of give it some space and go this way. There you go. So see how everything's kind of lined up grid wise. Now I just want to complete the loop or the, the circle rather. So we're going to go like that. There you go. So 400, 400, 400. And that did not go right. But we'll just, for the time being, we'll just do that. Okay, so what we need to do is, like I said, we need to build an ad... Oh, I'm not going to industry. We do need to build an admin building. An administration building is kind of like a very prominent building around the campus, any college campus. So what I want to do next is I kind of want to branch out over here and add some dormitories along the side of the road. So what I want to do is kind of build, how big are these first of all? The dormitories are pretty big buildings. So what I want to do is I kind of want to, on both sides, oh, right here. Actually, I'm going to go straight down completely to the road because we will need a, a road connection. So we're going to go from there and right about there, do the same thing. Now I'm going to build dorms on both sides. So, nope, those are not the dorms. So I'm going to build dorms on both sides. There you go. We're, we're trying to create some symmetry also just to give you that heads up. So if I build, so this should be lined up perfectly over there. And this should be lined up perfectly there. Now I do want to create um, a couple roads going this way. So um, I I am going to create this little this little path, and let's try to line it up for over here. So what I'm basically doing is I'm creating a little bit more space 
for our dorms and stuff like that. Um, I do want to extend that out a little bit more. And our other buildings. Basically, I do want to add other buildings. So just kind of keep that like that. All right. So let's see. Let's add a couple of more of those dorms right over here. Remember, we are we do have 11,000 students that need college education or they're college eligible students. So just remember that. So we're adding dorms right now to try to add to that. So that is pretty perfect. Now what we need to do is figure out what other buildings. So we need a study hall. And that is next on the agenda. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a roadway over here right behind there you go right behind the current admin building and we will put that up here sorry I'm just taking my time there you go so what I want to do is all right the next building we have like I said is the study hall building so that that is a pretty big building what I want to do is kind of bring, kind of bring the this roadway up a bit, and bring it right back to over here and connect there, and do the same thing over here, except I need this to line up a little bit better. There you go. Okay, so now I think we want to add the study halls on both sides so actually we're gonna add them over here just to kinda keep everything together there you go so now the next building is the groundskeeping building um it's not a very big building as you can tell it's right here um where can we put this little building you know what? I'm gonna put it over here it's just off to the side it's not really in the way of anything so, so far, this is our campus. We only have a few buildings. Now we have the Futsal Club. I believe the Futsal Club, okay, it's like a sports fan club for all of your college sports. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to put that right over here. That's a good spot for it. And then um, what else is next? An outdoor study area. I'm going to put one of those over here, kind of next to the admin building, kind of away from everything. Um, now next is the gymnasium. Let's see how big that thing is. It's not huge, but let's put it next to the, our little outdoor study area. Then next we have a cafeteria. I do want a cafeteria on both sides of the campus, which works out really well. There we go. And then, um, we have a university fountain i do want to put that right in front of our admin admin building it should look very nice let me set that does not look very nice because guess what sports monkey it is not centered so let's put that put that right there there we go that is a little bit more centered as best as i can so that works out really well um what i want to do next is go back to our campus and i do want to add um, a couple of roads before we go into anything else now go back because some of these campus roads uh or the admin building actually has campus roads connected to it so i just wanted to do that now um i believe there is we added the gymnasium we add the cafeteria we add the fountain now the university library where do we want to put that let's put that next to uh, let's put that right there that is pretty perfect i'm not mad about that at all and we have a math club math club is also a very small Ooh, darn it that actually fits perfectly right there now, as you can tell, we have trees over here, so we're gonna blend those in later on. Um, a university commencement office. I do wanna put that right on the water. That's where people are gonna graduate. 
Um, basically, um, a great venue for graduation, absolutely. And that is your backdrop. You have a theme park in the back, so, you know, that is great. Now, we do have another academic statue. Um, I do want to put that right next to our... Ooh. I do want to put that right next to our commencement office. That would look really perfect. So, you know, you could take pictures after you graduate. That is really cool. A university auditorium now. Hmm. I think right here would be a very good spot. So we just keep maintaining what we're doing with our symmetry. So I do want to add roads before we build anything else. So we do want to go over here this way and go this way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine curved roads and that, or combine roads by using the curved road, sorry. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, except we're gonna go back to straight path. There we go. And there's that. So we kind of have some symmetry going on, which it looks pretty cool for the time being. Now let's go back to building our buildings, rather. We already have the commencement office. We already have the academic statue. We have the auditorium. We need the university laboratories. Now this is kind of a big building for what we just built. So we're going to put that over here. I'm in the back and we'll leave this area a little bit open. We'll see what else we have. Um, a university bookstore. Um, if anybody's ever gone to college, the university bookstore is very, always very close to the admin building. I feel like, um, can I fit this in right over here? Perfect. I think that is perfect because how many of you have gone to, to college and it's literally the admin building and then you have like a bookstore nearby, you know, it's, it's all relatively close together. Um, all right, let's see where we can add this. So this is the media lab. This will increase your student capacity, attractiveness, and boost the academic work. So that's perfect. Yeah, the, some of these buildings are very self-explanatory. Chess club. I think we could put the chess club like right, right over here. Or can we put it right in there? Now the chess club's small enough where we could fit that perfectly right in there. So some of these are very self-explanatory, so they don't need ex <laughs> explanation of what um, you know we, we need to. You know, I don't really need to go into detail of what they are. So um, this is the second academic statue. Um, I could oh, if I could fit that right there, that would been nice. But um, I don't want to. I don't want to take. I'm going to put that right there. So it's kind of like a nice little, nice little plate, um, you know, a nice area where you can congregate in the, this is like the heart of our college. So that is a really good place. Now we have some of the bigger buildings. We have the school of law, which is massive. We have the, which one's this one? Sorry. The school of medicine, which is also massive. And we have the School of Science. So we do have a lot of space still, and everything is still pretty symmetrical, so I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Um, before we get into that, I am going to add a couple more roads. Or paths, rather. And I'm going to use the straight path, and all this will... I will I'm just going to add some details after all this is done, so that's why I'm kind of doing this right now. Oh, and it won't let me because... And then I'm I'm assuming this building is in the way. Yep. There goes our. I'm gonna delete that. Dang it! That was gonna look nice. Anyways, let's keep going. So far, so good. I really like how this looks. This is the. Oh. You know what though? I need to center this. All right. Go back to the bus. All right, so that is way more on center. There's that. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go to back to building the massive buildings that we need. Uh, basically, this is what our school is going to be based on. Um, you know, like what kind of school we are. Like this is a science building. So let's put the science building over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Now let's put a path around that. So I do have my paths. Nope, that won't work. There you go. So we fit that science center in there really nicely. Remember, I as I told you before, these are huge buildings. So, um, yeah, so that is our science center. Now, here is our med. Now, the medicine one, though, is also, okay, it's also, it is also a horizontal building. So we can, that actually fit really perfect right there. Really, really perfect. Although, I, the only part I don't like about it is I wish, you know what, don't like it. I take that back. There you go, because I wanted to extend those bottom ro roads out, and we couldn't do that the way it was. So now let's build roads around this. There we go. Um, I kind of don't like that. But I kind of like... Oh, that would have cool. Okay, I have an idea. Can I build one more out? Oh, that's too big. Come on, one more out. Okay, while well, my Xbox is saving. Oh, no. All right, that looks kind of cool, so we'll keep it. And now what's the last building we possibly need? So we have... So the School of Science is obviously the school... You know, it'll basically allow um, your students to, you know, create sciences. So cutting-edge technology. The School of Medicine obviously is a medical school. And we want future doctors here in Fox Valley. And the last one we have is School of Law. School of Law is more of a vertical building, but that's okay. That works out really perfect. So our whole campus is very symmetrical. I know I put a lot of the buildings over here, but I do have a plan for the left-hand side. But we do need more dorms, so, and we need to connect a lot of these paths up. You son of a gun. If I had the move it tool, I would 100% use it here. Yeah, you know, that's okay. We could just extend this. See how we did that path? So to kind of keep it. Perfect. Now, too bad we can't do that, but that's okay. Now, we do need more dorms because we, like I said, our students, we have a capacity of 900 right now, and we have over 13,000 students that we need. Or 11, excuse me, 11,959. Now, can we fit more dorms in between here? I'm going to try. And absolutely we can. So if you guys haven't done this already, but hit that comment, like, and subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. You guys have been fantastic. And there, and I do, I might start a new series next time, guys. Um, I do have my Blue Yeti mic, and I kind of want to see what it's like, you know, have a new series that literally just uses that. And just to see... It, audio wise if it makes a difference or whatnot um so i'm just letting you guys know that you, i might start a new series mainly because oh shoot mainly because this blue yeti mic uh it should sound a lot better than my current mic that i'm using an xbox one headset for those of you who have seen me who have seen my previous videos where i do have a webcam um i have actually stopped using the webcam because i'm waiting to actually buy one so it's a little bit better quality so you guys don't you know so the quality of this game does not suffer so i rather have you guys see that anyways 
But let's see how many students we will have so far. So we have student capacity. We do not have that yet. Oh, and there it goes. Student capacity is only around 500. That does not at all make sense. Anyways, um, I just want to do one more thing before I end for today. I am at the 23 minute mark, which is a little bit over where I like to be. But since we do have a giant campus, I do want to add sports teams to it, or a sports team. So I do want to build a waterfront stadium. Now, how can I do that? Now, can the stadium, varsity stadiums be on a path, or do they need road access? Okay, they need access to a road. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Hmm. I want to put it, like, right here ish so what I want to do is I'm going to add road this way I'm going to turn it though I'm going to curve the road and then we're going to put where where's our stadium That is actually right where I want it. So that works perfect. Now, uh, as you can tell, I do not have water pipes. So let's steal some water from our main city. We're just going to pipe this whole thing. I'm going to edit this so you guys don't have to see the whole piping. Now what you also want to do is you need to add public transportation to the city you need to, or to to our campus uh, mainly because we need students to get to school essentially um, that is very huge so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one thing before I let you guys go for the rest of the day I'm just gonna add some transportation systems and I'm also gonna show you one more little tidbit so when you do have a campus University of Fox Valley. That actually sounds good. Um, make sure you go to policies and you you actually research certain grants. Uh, give them a lot of money. <laughs> um, maybe not. We'll go 16000 And then Varsity Sports will need a lot of money also. So I'm going to invest. So what we're doing is we're investing... $300 into, I believe it's our cheerleading, our cheerleading budget. Yes, we are. Yes. So I increase that to 380. Then our coaching, we are going to put at 20. We're going to even these out because we don't want to discriminate <laughs> against football and cheerleading. So we're going to add that. Um, our team color, I think we're going to go with, I'm going to, I kind of, I don't want a dark yellow. Kind of like a brightish yellow. And we are going to be the Spartans. Go Fox Valley Spartans. <laughs> oh my god. Let's bring some electricity over here also. Now instead of going ac across the... Oh shoot. Can I do this? Okay, come on, City Skylines. Really, really. It won't allow me to go across the canals. Well, that is a buzzkill. Well, let's go across the river. Alright, so this is cool. So we do have water. Now I do want to add... I am going to add some um, residential and some other buildings. But I'll fill that in next episode. So you'll see that all filled in. But I am going to add some details. Some trees. So see these lovely trees that are already over here? I'm going to add those. So um, I'm going to add those now. And you guys, I will fast forward it. So remember the 27 minute mark. And now I'm fast forwarding it to all the detailing that I did. So we are back here at 
the University of Fox Valley. I did create a underground metro because we need students to actually be able to get to school. We also have taxis. And I also have a couple bus routes that are going that are on this side and this side and right over here in front of our admin building. So that is pretty neat. So this is our city courtyard and, or city. This is our college campus courtyard. Now, if I zoom out, you can see that I did add the trees. Remember, we did have a forest. Remember, this forest did exist. So we just kind of blended all the roads and everything together and we kept it very compact. As you can tell so it looks really good i feel like and you know it does look like a college because if you've ever gone to a new york state a united in the united states a new york state college you have a lot of the same looking buildings and this is no exception so this is a really good university look and i do have the football field over here i have not done any work on it but i you know this is just for the campus but this is what the campus turned out to be I added some flowers and some more plazas. I tried to add all these little flowers over here and plants so we can kind of hide the the underground metro station. But overall, it looks really good. I really like it. Um, you know, our graduation commencement office is right on the water. It looks, this really turned out really great. Um, and our capacity is, well, it should be more than that, but... Um, you know, so um, also before you go, we do want to launch an advertising campaign, which will um, advertise for Bar Barcy Sports. We'll definitely take that. Um, a fan club, definitely um, give out free merchandise to the fans during matches and organizations. Um, organized fan club activity. Um, and we will keep that like that for the time being. We are working on our academic work. We're waiting for that. Um, the school season needs to end. We did add a budget to our varsity cheerleading and varsity sports so now we're just waiting to be recognized as a campus and we're waiting for the academic schedule to come out now if you hold down that y button again let's see uh we have our ca capacity is at thirteen thousand, and we only almost have twelve thousand students that are eligible um i might add some dorms later on um i'm gonna figure out a better spot because we don't want to have a whole city of dorms so I'll figure that out later, but um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like what you saw today.